to the Rebels begin!
Nary a peep from the shellbacks, sir. It's enough to make one wonder. The Red have sounded the alarm. The Isle of Zeki under attack. Fierce fighting in the stronghold. The vault breached by outsiders and strange tales from deep within. All this the Red cannot ignore. Even now, they abandon their posts and flock to the Isle. The Garleans are powerless to stop them. I'll be damned they did it. Well, Captain, wages notwithstanding, I dare say we will not have a better opportunity to drive the Imperials from Asari and rescue our men. On the other hand, naught was put in writing. But if your mind is made up, then that is that. I should add that if you were to change your mind, none would gainsay your decision, nor think you beholden to your past. Nor would anyone begrudge you a spot of revenge into the bargain. Like the Little Miss said, we knew this day would come. Isari may be a rotting husk, but at least the tavern keeper never watered down his drinks. Well said for a temperate man. Comrades, we made a bargain with the Aeorsians, and I mean to uphold our end of it. I mean to remind the Garleans that this is our sea, that all here belongs to the Confederacy. All that is theirs is ours for the taking, and take it we shall. We will strip them of everything they hold dear. This one is iron. My hands will break before he speaks. Oh, come he give me strength. Are you good at anything? I had hoped this might prove more productive than blind inquiries, but I see you are determined to waste my time. Very well.
line them up. Kill one for every question he refuses to answer. Hurt them, and you will get naught from me. You have given me precisely that thus far, so what have I to lose? Mark me, Samurai. I will find Lord here, be it with your help or with your heads. Save us! And this after I took such pains to cow them. Even pirates have their pride, I suppose. Enough to march to their deaths, no less. Oh, the stupidity of it all. It truly is a sickness. I shall just have to lance the boil. Drain them of every last trace of honor and compassion. Every last drop. My lady, I... I'm going outside. Kami are not finished with you yet. Coming. Then we must be doing something right. We have to hold out for as long as we can. He's counting on us. Oh. S Suzono is slain! Slain by the shellless one! Did you defeat him? Well, in that case, how do you fancy helping us keep the Kojin occupied until the Confederacy make their move? Speak of the Devils, that's coming from Isari. I think we've done all we can here. Let's withdraw and make for the village. Right. Although, they don't seem keen to let us go. Kojin of the Red, we have no quarrel with you, only your Imperial Masters. No more blood need be shed this day, I pray you let us go in peace. You dare speak to us of peace? Your flesh will feed the fishes, thief! Attack! Now's our chance. Don't worry about her, she can handle herself.
I can't let you take all the glory, can I?
my Eorzean friends. Saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner, though I gather you were busy elsewhere. Gusetsu! You're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? Fled. They stood their ground for a time, until it became clear that their Corjin reinforcements would not be coming. We took some few casualties, but my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a half-wit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. In any event, I imagine all involved are satisfied with this outcome. So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions, and without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. <laughs> An impossible claim, yet one spoken with such conviction that I cannot choose but believe it. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, we shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings and may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people, then? You will go to Yansha. I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step. Yansha was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh? <laughs> <laughs>